the hump. Why does motorcycle suits have this feature and does it have anything to do with safety? It was originally introduced in race letters in MotoGP and World Superbike in the mid to late 1990s. It was originally intended to reduce the aerodynamic drag created by the rider as he or she tucks down. In theory, it reduces the turbulence behind the helmet and thus provides some relief for the rider's neck, and also reduces the drag coefficient, which enables a higher top speed. As technology progressed over the years, the hump now has many different uses, including space for water bladder, electronics for airbags, data logging devices to collect information on various forces acting on the rider and motorcycle. There's also a myth out there that this is a form of safety device. I could find this information on internet forums. Now these posts don't provide a single credible reference where I could double check that this is actually true. Here's a quote I found on the subject on an internet forum. It provides neck support when you crash. Try this, line your back in normal clothes wearing your helmet. This causes your head to be pushed forward, chin towards the chest. Now put a cushion under the upper back where the speed hump would be. See the difference? Less whiplash in the event of a get-off where you end up on your back. Now let's instead look to science to help us out. I found a peer-reviewed paper called Trauma and Motorcyclists, published in 2007 in the International Journal Injury. Link to it down in the description. Now I'm not a medical professional, so let me quote the paper. There remains a great degree of confusion about the role of speed humps even within the motorcycling fraternity in itself. They were initially conceived to improve the aerodynamics of helmeted rider in a racing crouch on a competition motorcycle. They are not and never have been a safety device, and indeed make management of the airway and spine more difficult in the injured motorcyclist." End quote. So in other words, the hump does not provide any safety benefits for the rider and it makes first responders job a little bit harder. These days, lots of leather jackets and suits meant for street riding have the hump incorporated. For street riding, the only use of it is to look cool. Many riders love anything that makes them look like their favorite riders. So how does motorcycle leathers protect the rider in the event of an accident? Well, according to Jeremy Appleton, Alpine Star's communications director, the aim with motorcycle protective gear is to absorb and dissipate as much of the energy as possible upon impact, and to keep the rider sliding, which again is to take out energy. Airbags are ingenious because they are able to absorb and dissipate big amounts of energy upon impact, but are at the same time light and soft when not engaged, so that the rider can move freely. Remember to subscribe to my channel if you want to see more content like this. Here we let science help us out. It's gotta be against the lottery.